Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Tested, Field Approved with Robert Field. Today I want to talk to you about the Pursuit Fishing Kayak from New Canoe. Now New Canoe prides themselves on stable performance fishing kayaks and the Pursuit is no exception. The Pursuit is 13 and a half feet long, 35 inches wide, it weighs 82 pounds and has an impressive capacity of 500 pounds. So the emphasis on this boat is stability. At 35 inches wide, it's gonna be a perfect platform for a bigger angler or even an angler with a young kid up front. New Canoe even offers a junior seat that mounts right into the Freedom Tracks up near the bow. Despite its width, the Pursuit has surprising speed and quickness and it glides effortlessly across the water. One thing I was concerned about with this boat is the lack of a rudder. It doesn't come with one and it doesn't really come with the ability to install one. Despite that fact, I was extremely impressed with how straight this boat tracks over long distances and its turning radius is extremely solid without a rudder. This boat drafts in just three to five inches of water, which is gonna make this a killer platform for standing up all day, cruising the flats or bays on the Gulf Coast, or fly fishing in shallow water. And because of its extreme stability, you can stand up all day comfortably in this, which is gonna be perfect for fly anglers or guys that like to sight cast to different species. So the performance of this kayak was really impressive, but where this boat really shines is in the features and deck layout. One of the things I really love about the Pursuit is that it's got an extremely clean deck. And despite that fact, it also has a ton of rigging options so that you can really customize this boat for your fishing style. The Pursuit comes stock with horizontal rod storage in the form of two rod tubes on either side of the boat. And there's plenty of space next to the seat for even larger reels. With how stable this boat is, it's really easy to stand up sideways or backwards and without having those rods sticking up behind you, you have 360 degrees of castability, which is gonna make it extremely efficient on the water. Speaking of that, New Canoe really took advantage of the stability of this platform, and it actually comes stock with a 360 degree swivel seat. That's something that I have not seen on any other fishing kayak. The boat has plenty of stability to sit sideways with your feet up on the gunnel or even backwards. That's gonna be killer if you're drifting in the wind because if you can't control your boat position, you can still cast in any direction. That's gonna make your day on the water more efficient in windy conditions, which means more fish in the boat. The Freedom Tracks that the seat's mounted on run the entire length of the deck. That's gonna be extremely nice for a variety of reasons. One, you can move this seat's position all the way forward or aft, which really lets you balance out the boat depending on how much gear you have or if you have a young kid up front. What's really nice about those Freedom Tracks is that they're the same universal tracks that you're mounting your accessories on. That means that you can mount accessories the entire length of the deck up in front of you. It also has four additional sets of tracks, two up by the bow and two around the rear tank well, which is gonna give you endless options for rigging accessories without having to drill any holes in the boat. The boat also comes with two flush mount rod holders in the rear that have covers so they don't fill up with water when you're not using them. The front hatch of the Pursuit is a great size and it comes stock with a bucket for storing your gear so that it's not sliding all up and down the hull. The stern of the Pursuit acts as a transom, allowing you to mount a trolling motor or even a gas powered motor up to two and a half horsepower. And the stability of this boat really can handle that kind of power. You can also mount a power pole micro anchor back there using a simple clamp mount which will make for a really clean install with no drilling required. Now let's talk about a couple of things that I thought could be improved on the Pursuit. The first is the back hatch. It's not a very big hatch and there's not much clearance inside the hole, so you're not gonna be able to fit a ton of gear back there. Luckily, there's so much deck space that you can easily have enough gear for a full multi-day camping trip. You're just gonna have to come up with some dry solutions like big dry bags to keep that stuff dry up on the deck. Now, while the swivel seat is killer for fishing, I found myself wishing I had a way to lock that down when I was paddling into strong headwinds. A lot of that torque and power that you're getting from your core is lost when that seat swivels as you make your paddle strokes. Luckily, New Canoe does offer a locking seat base, but it's sold separately for about $30. So I'd go ahead and factor that into your price when you go to pick up your Pursuit. Another thing I really found myself wishing I had were foot pegs. Again, a lot of that power and torque that you're creating when you're paddling depends on you being able to brace your feet up against something. Luckily, New Canoe also sells those separately for about $25, and they mount right into the Freedom Track, so you can get them at the perfect distance from you that you need. Another thing I found a little bit lacking on the boat was paddle storage. 
There's two ring straps up front that were designed to be able to put your paddle blade into, but I found that in high winds, I really couldn't depend on them to keep my paddle in place. I would go ahead and plan on getting some aftermarket paddle storage, such as the G-Holds from Railblazer, so that if you find yourself in a high wind situation, you're not gonna get stuck up a creek without a paddle. Finally, the boat does handle extremely well considering it doesn't have a rudder, but some anglers are probably gonna find that limiting in certain situations, like if you've got a strong crosswind. Another small thing I noticed is that there aren't really scuppers in the rear tank well. Now there are drainage lines molded into the boat to get that water up under the seat so they can drain out through those scuppers, but I found that it doesn't drain very quickly. So if you've got gear in the rear tank well that you don't wanna get wet, I suggest either elevating your crate or using a dry bag or some kind of dry solution so that your stuff isn't sitting in water. The Pursuit retails for $16.49, but you should probably plan on adding about $55 to get the foot pegs and the locking seat base. Overall, the Pursuit is a really unique platform with a ton to offer for a very reasonable price tag. While a lot of these manufacturers are coming out with the same thing year after year in different colors, New Canoe has really pushed the envelope with a fresh, unique design that's affordable. So if you're looking for an extremely stable fishing or hunting platform with surprising speed, a very clean deck layout, and endless rigging options, the New Canoe Pursuit is field tested, field approved. If you have any questions that I didn't cover, feel free to comment below. Until next time guys, I'm Robert Field and I'll see you on the water.